Now you're a real freak. My fiancé made me bald so that he could call me ugly. Jack was the first man I fell in love with. He insisted that I move in with him and leave my job immediately after the engagement. I will fully provide for us. But when I became entirely dependent on him, he changed. Why aren't you wearing makeup when I'm at home? If you keep getting uglier, you can forget about the wedding. He convinced me that I was disgusting. And due to the constant stress, I started losing my hair. Mm. You're already so ugly. And now this! His mockery got worse as well as my hair loss. Jack was feeling more and more ashamed of me. You will wear this to the restaurant. I forgave him for all the bullying because I still loved the old Jack. We have to do something about what's left of your hair. I can't take it anymore. When we got home, he went totally crazy. Shave it off. That way nothing will pick out from under the wig. Watching Mad Jack, I finally realized that he would never change. Goodbye. I rented a room in the cheapest hotel I could find and went to a coffee shop nearby where I succumbed to my emotions. Suddenly, a stranger approached me. Miss, you are incredibly beautiful. Would you like to become a model? Feeling ugly, I thought he was mocking me, so I ran back to my room. But before that, he managed to give me his card. What if he was telling the truth? I started searching information online, and as it turned out, that man, Simon, was the manager of a modeling agency that organized large-scale fashion shows. I had nothing to lose, so I called him. There is one little fashion show coming up. It's perfect for someone with no experience. I'll do it. The fashion show was magical. I didn't move like a model, but on the catwalk, I felt like a real beauty. And the audience felt it too. There's so much charm in your hesitant walk. You are incredible, Claire. That catwalk breathed new life into me. Simon and I started spending more and more time together. Not only he would constantly offer me new shows, but he would also court me. There was just one problem. He had only seen me with a wig on. This is a very important show. If you prove yourself, you'll get lots of advertising contracts. The show took place on an open catwalk. It was quite windy, and at one point, my wig fell off. I walked all the way to the end, keeping it together, but... Why didn't you tell me about your... illness? You realize that your modeling career is over, right? Not only that, but if you had told me about this, I wouldn't have started dating you. I wish the earth would swallow me up. And right before Simon walked away from me... Miss, I own a global fashion brand. Your performance out there was so brave. Your real hairstyle really suits you. Would you like to work with us? Simon's eyes lit up when he saw the opportunity. Honey, everything I said, it was all just a joke. <laughs> Get out of here, Simon. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 
If someone tells you that you are ugly, don't change yourself. Change the one who said it.